What is going on guys? It's Crazy Clips here and I have something very special for you today. Today, we'll be playing Jollibee's. It's an app fan game made by Ivan G Games. Now this game is actually discontinued. You can actually get it on uh, Game Jolt anymore because uh, of copyright. Um, someone from Jollibee's company, lawyer, uh, sued I and, uh, he had to take it down, uh, to, uh, to, so then he would ruin, uh, their reputation. So I'll be playing this game on my channel. It's extremely good. If you want me to post it uh, in the description, I will. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. The game is pretty dope, guys. Our children have been victims of food poisoning. Earlier this morning, while at a party in a, in a local fast food restaurant, surveillance footage shows that an unknown man wearing blue wearing blue broke into the kitchen kitchen and added what seemed to be chemicals, which was later given to the children. 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 Just like that, the game starts off with the cutscene, and uh, there's like a little free room section over here. Um, let me find my the office. No. So there's that free room section, and now this is like the traditional for that little homage to Pizzeria Simulator here. There you answer. The hello, hello. Hey, you're the new guy, right? That's yes. Great. Not that many have approached us for this job. It's Why? So boring, you know. Oh, I mean, you're stuck in an office okay. for six hours watching for something to happen. It's insane that you even get money Shut up for that. the lights. Anyways, did you know that there's something special about the anime? Here. Um, there are the first ever animatronics built with free roam features that don't fail every 10 seconds. The feature is now, eh? They're also the first that were built with advanced AI. In fact, they're so advanced you might think a soul is inside controlling everything. Uh, now, concerning the animatronics, um, our recent guard reported that the animatronics, yeah, they've been moving during the night for some reason. He said that the closest they got to him was the hall in front of him. Heck, they even tried to climb in the vents. And after that, they just... stare. After hearing that, we've started taking some measures. Our engineers put blocking systems on the vents, which is pretty easy to access to the camera. But don't shut too many vents, though. Um, we've noticed that the blocking system seems to block the incoming air as well. The region is going to become all dark and blurry. Trust me, it's not going to be good for you. Yeah, the building isn't that well ventilated as you can probably tell. Now, in case that the animatronics ever get in your door, you can turn off the lights in your office as long as you're not too late. They'll think that there is no person inside, and uh, I think you get the point. If you look over to your left, you'll see a vent that lets air into your office. We've tested the animatronics on certain light conditions, and it seems that they um, reboot their system and go back to their respective places once you shine up really bright light into their eyes. Um, except for that other one. So in case there's an animatronic in your left vent, you can just shine your light on it, and it'll go away momentarily. Now if you look to your right, however, you'll see a big window. That window leads to our parts of service room. She's supposed to be together with Twirly, the girl on Cam 9, but she isn't acting right recently. Sometimes she's singing and sometimes she's just not responding. So our solution 
<laughs> put her near the window so you can calm her down using the flashlight. It's really hard to catch her once she gets away. She crawls in one of the three vents near her, and blocking her gets really painful. Literally. Now remember, seal a vent if absolutely necessary. You don't want to pass out, do you? No. Oh, I almost forgot. We blew a fuse this morning in Yum's party room. Can you check that out before you go? I'm sure the animatronics won't cause you any danger at that time. Alright, good night. Alright. So that's the phone call. And, uh... I'm gonna try and beat night one. I mean, as you can see, these cameras are pretty clean. Like, that sound when you switch to the camera is pretty nice. Uh, okay. Oh, he's moving. There he is. Hello? Wow, they're pretty active. this uh, yum's party room thing. Oh no. This is uh... Alright. Oh hi. Hello. I don't, I hate everything about this. Oh sh- Oh my god. Oh hell no. Oh hell no. The good thing is the thumping noise is obvious, but... Oh hell no.
away, please. Thank you. Bro, could these take any longer? <laughs> I don't like the way he looks. I think these characters are actually based off of the actual Java Beat mascots, uh, but don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure there's actually someone that looks like that, like one of the mascots named Yum. Actually looks like him. That was one of the uh, that's one of the reasons this game was taken down. Was, uh, it, it, it wasn't fake characters like in the Jolly series, it was like real characters. Bro, this game, this is actually tense. Okay. Alright, just one more. Alright. make a second video on it if you guys request it. I think this is a really well made game. Go show um, Ivan G some love and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.